Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Emma. I'm Olivia. And we are all part of We Act. Yeah. We Act is an eighth group who works to promote social changes locally, nationally, and globally. Next week, we are partnering with the math department to raise money to purchase goat families in Haiti. The fundraiser is called Change for Change. The fundraiser is called Change for Change. Bring on the pie. Join in on the fun and please help us make a difference for children in Haiti. Did you know that only 53% of people in Haiti can read or write? Did you know that in Haiti, one in five children die before the age of five? Half of the kids in Haiti under the age of five are malnourished and their normal diet is rice and beans. Haiti is currently the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere with around 80% of the population living below the poverty line. Goats provide milk, which is a source of food. They can also become a source of income because they can sell the milk, butter, and cheese. <gasps> Here's my donation. Oh! Because... Oh! Oh, jeez! The weight of your donation determines which teacher will get a pie in the face. Right here in front of you is $50 in pennies. That will buy one goat for a family in Haiti. Next week, you can donate money to see your favorite teacher get a pie in the face. The best part about raising $3,141.59 is that Mr. Aker will get a pie in the face. Good morning, Mr. Bierman. Good morning, Ms. Davis. As you know, the We At Kids are doing a huge fundraiser next week to raise money to send goats to Haiti. And we are doing that by raising money and throwing pies in teachers' faces. And you're one of the guys on the list. Who in eighth grade would you like to see take a pie? Well, I think Mr. Gatto would be a wonderful candidate to take a pie in the face. You know, I, I just think he's got the ability to absorb a pie to the face. I think he's got the correct stature to take a pie to the face. And he's got the right demeanor for it. I think he's a perfect candidate to take a pie in the face. How many digits of pie do you know, Mr. Beerman? I know two digits of pie. And what are they? 3.14. Is that it? That's all I know. Oh, who would you like to see take the pie and why? Oh, Mr. Gatto, absolutely. Um, why? Because um, I think it would be the funniest. <laughs> and then since you're a math teacher, how many digits of pie can you recite? Oh, 3.14159. Two, six, five, three, five, three, five, three. That's about all I've got. Mr. Gatto, who out of the eighth grade teachers would you like to see get a pie in the face? Without a doubt, Mrs. Fisher. Why? Because she deserves it. Math yeah, teacher, how many digits of pie can you recite? <laughs> There's a reason I'm a social studies teacher. Uh, three point one four one five. Mr. Swigert, who would you like to see take a pie in the face and why? Well, the three options for seventh grade are me, Mr. Pepper, and Mrs. Moore. Obviously, I don't want this beautiful face covered in pie. Mr. Pepper's getting a little up in his ears, so we don't want him to get hurt. And I would love to see pie all over Mrs. Moore's face. That would be awesome. Ms. Moore, who would you like to see get a pie in the face? Well, I really feel um, a pie in the face would, would be most appreciated by Mr. Swaggart um, because he really loves mathematical pie and pie, the food of pie. Teacher, how many digits of pie can you remember? I know exactly five because 3.1415, it's Super Pie Day this year, March 14th, 2015. That's all I know. Teacher, how many digits of pie can you recite? Well, up until this year, I could recite um, only three digits of pie, 3.14, but now this year being um, such a big year in the pie world, I can recite 3.1415. Okay. Mr. Pepper, who would you like to see out of seventh grade teachers get a pie in the face? So the, the choices are Mr. Swaggart and Mrs. Moore. And you. And, and yourself. And me. Yeah. You know, I've taken a pie in the face for, for the good of the group over at the high school a few years ago, so I, you know, I'll play nice if, if I'm the one that ends up taking it, but I'd ride my choice in a perfect world. I want to see both of them take it. I'd like to see them smack each other with a pie. That's what I'd like to see. That would be fun. That would be fun. So that's what, if, if I got my way, they'd both take one from each other. Okay. Since it's pie day, how many digits of pie can you recite? 
uh, I used to blow it. I, I'll try what I have committed to memory is 3.1415, and I think this is where I, 97, and I think that's where I make my mistake. Okay. Ms. Hewitt, how, who would you like to see get a pie in the face? I would like to see Mr. Ziegler get a pie in the face. Why? Uh, I just think he would enjoy it. Okay, Mr. Ziegler, who would you like to see get a pie in the face? Mm, I'd prefer Mr. Witt. Why? Because he's a math teacher, and uh, in the hall he was telling me how I should get one in my face, and I think he deserves it for that comment. We're good. Okay, Mr. Hohalter, who would you like to see get a pie in the face? Oh, I would love to see Mr. Ziegler get a pie in the face. How many digits of pie can you recite? Me? Not that many. Uh, pie, I know it's March 14th, right? 3.14 at least, mm -hmm. right? And that's about all I can really do as in memorization. I'm 3.14, I think it's, I don't even know, 164, I don't even know for no. sure. Okay, and since you're a math teacher, how many digits of pie can you recite? Oh, wow. Not very many. I know I can get 3.14, <laughs> and that's probably about it. <laughs> and even though you're not a math teacher, how many digits of pi can you recite? 3.141591. Then the next one will be a guess. I'm going to say six. Okay. Right. So, we act members, who would you like to see take a pie? Mr. Aker. Mr. Aker. Mr. Aker. Mr. Aker. Me too. So, Mr. Aker, we're doing a pie in the face contest. And I can't wait. Yes. So, out of each grade level, who do you want to get a pie in the face? I think in sixth grade, if I had to choose, it would probably be Mr. Ziegler. Why? Well, that's because of something he did to me when we were coaching together back in 1996. He played a trick on me with the football players that I still owe him for. So, we're going to work on evening the score there. So revenge. Well, no, not necessarily revenge. Friendly fun, we like to call it. Okay. And then for seventh grade, who's your pick? Well, Mr. Swaggart. Why? Well, what is the pie going to be made of? Whipped cream? Pie. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that Mr. Swaggart's like myself. I'll have to get less cleaning supplies to clean up because Mr. Swaggart, he, he has a tongue he could lick about part of his face to clean up, so it's less cleaning supplies if Mr. Swaggart is in. He can one lick and he might be able to clean up. Okay. And then for eighth grade, who's your choice? That one took a little bit more thinking, but as I thought about it, hands down, Mr. Bierman. Why? Just because he's Mr. Bierman. <laughs> Is that a good enough reason? Yeah. So if I could, I'd like to go Ziegler, Swagger, Bierman. Would you like to do it? Would I like to do it? Yeah. Well, I've been waiting for seven years to get a pie in the face, so I would really like to do it. So, also, we are asking everybody if you can recite any digits of pie. Oh, my. Now you're testing me. But I, I usually go down to Pi Day in seventh grade. It goes something like 3.141592653589793284626, I think. Clap. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I, I try my best. I always get mixed up after that 3626 one, though. It's just it's just something I can't get past. So. Well, you're definitely the best at that. Good job. Well, thank you, thank you. I'll give you your candy later.